Okay, today we will be doing a wire pulling demonstration. Okay, we're running this one inch conduit along the ceiling in this parking garage. You can see I already have it clamped in place. And I'm using this 50 foot fish tape. You can buy it at Home Depot or Lowe's online. This one's made of steel. They make them out of fiberglass. This one's $26.97. They come in different lengths, 25 feet, 50 feet, even longer. And here's the box and the ceiling that we're gonna pull wire into. So I'm gonna take my fish tape and gently feed the fish tape into the conduit. I'm pulling six wires through this one inch conduit, so I like to use a little bit of wire pulling lubricant. Makes it a little bit easier to pull the wire. I pulled one wire already, I'm starting on my second wire. And I'm simply going to put it through the fish tape loop and then wrap my black electrical tape around the wire and the fish tape. So this is inside the room on the other side of that cinder block wall, obviously. And I'm just gonna gently start feeding my fish tape into that pool box, into the conduit that goes through the wall. And here's a better view of the loop on the end of the fish tape. And you can see how I just pushed the end of my wire through it before I taped it. I'm just resting my spool of wire on this one inch cut off piece of conduit, resting on two boxes. But you can also buy one of these spool caddies. Uh, this one costs around $150. I like to color code the wires. As you can see, green wires could be my green ground wire.
before I cut off my wire, I make sure I leave enough length to make it into this circuit breaker panel that we're gonna be connecting the wire to. You'd rather have too much wire than not enough. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.